There are some practices that you don't know who started or why and how it was started. But you've continued those practices and passed them down from generation to generation. One of such practices is deworming. So a lot of us can recall our parents deworming us once or twice a year. And most times it's the whole family that will take the anti-helmin fix. That is the deworming medications. One of such is combantrin, the drug pyrantel embonates, the wonder drug. My name is Somasis Marvelin of Marvel Family, and on this channel, every Monday, I share beauty and lifestyle content. Every Wednesday, I share skill acquisition and do-it-yourself videos. And every Friday, I share pharmacy gist and health tips. So today is Friday, and you already know what the tip is. Later this evening, in our private group, we're going to be having a conversation on, on worm infestation and management. Worm infestation and management. And our focus will be on humans. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be sharing 10 things you need to know about Combantrin. 10 things you need to know about this wonder drug, Pyrantel Embonet. The drug Combantrin is very effective against threadworms, hookworms, pinworms, roundworms, and whipworm. It has a neuromuscular blocking power that paralyzes the worms inside the body. And that's point number one. The second point is that even though this combantrin, this wonderful, powerful drug, is very effective against life worms, it has limitations. It does not kill the immature worms or the larvae of these worms around the end. The third point is also very important. Combantrin, parental embonate, should never ever be given to children less than one year of age. Most antihelminthics in general should not be given to children less than one year of age. But from two years and above, you can give combantrin to your child or the adult as the case may be. Number four is that combantrin itself can cause side effects like diarrhea, nausea, vomiting and even weakness. Number five is that it's best to take combantrin after meal. The sixth one is that combantrin starts action immediately after you take the medication. However, it will take a couple of days to kill or eliminate all the worms. Number seven is that combantrin, parental embonate, does not treat bacterial or viral infections. It is strictly an anti-helminthic that is used in the treatment of worms so it only kills worms number eight is a popular answer to a popular question which is should everyone deworm no not everyone should deworm especially children less than one year of age and and pregnant women are advised to consult their physician their gynecologist before they take any medications however for children that are above two years of age, they can actually deworm and they can take combantrin in the required dose for them. So that is why it's important that you speak to your pharmacist first. And number nine is another very important answer to a very, very important question, which is the question, how many times should someone deworm or how often should someone deworm? And... The answer to that question by your pharmacist Marvelin of Marvel Family and more. And I wonder why you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel until now. The number nine question is how many times should one deworm? And the answer to that question is once or twice a year. It could be up to three times depending on the person's exposure to worms. However, it should not be every month and it should not be too often because these anti helminthics are drugs which have major side effects. And it is important that you consult your pharmacist again, like I said earlier, before taking any medication. Number 10 is what actually started this gist. The question, why is it that 
when deworming or when using combine tray, it is usually given to the whole family. And the answer to that question is simple. Worms, especially thread worm, hook worm, round worm, actually can be transmitted from one individual to another through contact. So assuming a father or a mother is infected with worms, the eggs of these worms, the larvae of these worms might be present as microorganisms on the person's hands, person's legs, the person's mouth, or the feces of the person. And when this comes in contact with another family member, the infection spreads. So that is why it's important that when deworming, the whole family is usually dewormed at the same time. Thank you for watching this video and I am sure you have learned a thing or two. See you in class later this evening by 8 p.m. African time, West African time to be specific, as Farm Kefas Ayuba will be telling us about warm infestation and management. I'm still from Mrs. Marvelin of Marvel Family and more and it was nice doing this video for you. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, turning on your notification bells because I will definitely, definitely see you in my next video. Bye, bye for now.